everybody out here voting for summer then i'm napoleon dynamite getting pedro the numbers because a uh, vote for pedro is a vote for something different just admit it father's finally here to make a visit yeah i love autumn from the bottom of my heart uh i got no problem helping all of y'all to start you can miss summer with your coffee ice but i'm feeling real good up in my pumpkin spice hey i'm crunching leaves under my feet i'm repeating the company by smelling something sweet as rain on the streets oh my break out the flannels that we're chilling in your closet take the drip from august and make a quick deposit candy corn up in my pocket don't knock it uh sunday morning football locker room talking hey i don't claim to be a prophet but watch him before the last leaf falls you'll be falling for autumn Well, hello there, Building Blocks vloggers, and welcome back to the Building Blocks vlog. Now, today, you can see that I have a cup of candy corn in front of me. And what do you think uh, we're going to be talking about today? Well, there are three different colors on the corn. There's white up here, there's that big area of orange, and then that small little area of yellow. What other thing in the Bible has three things a part of it? That's right, the Trinity. So we are going to be talking about Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So, um, every autumn we see candy corn comes out. Every autumn, especially for the Halloween time. So that's why I'm talking about it this early, because fall starts on September 21st. So we're already ready for it come September 1st. At least I am. I love the holiday seasons. I love celebrating the fall and celebrating Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that stuff. Now, this little wax piece of candy basically is super good. Most people don't like it, which is okay, but it's supposed to look like a piece of corn. Now, um, after all, like I said, it has three colors on it, and we can tie it to the Holy Trinity. Um, orange, yellow, and white combined together to make such a delicious, memorable treat. Yet we cannot separate the colors or strip one away from the essence of what makes candy corn. All parts are necessary. Technically, the colors have varying flavors, but it can be tough to distinguish which is which. Since we partake of the candy as a whole, and after all, the very shape of the candy corn reminds us that all essential triune element of God. So, I mean, it's a very pointy, a very pointy triangle. But, as we can see, some have a little bit more color to it than others. As we can see, small little yellow right there, a bigger portion of orange there, and then a small little part of white. Um, but it's super, super important. All things work together. As the Bible says, all things work together. Now, when we talk about the Trinity, we talk about Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father would be God, so we can put that at the top. That's the white. Son, who died for our sins. That's the orange part, the big part. And then yellow, the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us each and every single day. Um, and also we can tie this to our words. Now we've talked about words many, many times before, right? Yes, we have. We've talked about how important it is to use sweet words, like gracious words are a honeycomb sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. That's kind of like how the Holy Trinity works. We use sweet words to talk about Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Just remember that. When we talk about God, we should talk about it in a sweet and nice way. Because some people might be like, well, who's this, who's this God that you're talking about? Who is this Trinity you're talking about? And when we say Trinity, we mean three. One, two, three. And that's how you can that's how you can tie it to candy corn. Or you can tie it to an apple, which is also a huge, huge thing in the fall, especially. I like going apple picking. So you can tie the outside 
to be the Holy Spirit. It's the thin part, I mean, sorry, uh, Father. The Father is the skin of the apple. The flesh of the apple is uh, God's Son. He came down as flesh, and he, he died on the cross, and three days, to, three days later rose again. And then the core, the one that's inside the apple, the Holy Spirit. And we can tie it also to the candy corn, which is pretty cool. So, and the candy corn can also be um, talked about as a seed. Corn can make a seed. You can put it in the ground and it can be planted and it can grow other pieces of corn. It's pretty fascinating, that's for sure. Now, whenever you think about, if you like candy corn, whenever you think about candy corn, think about the Holy Trinity, which means three. Use gracious and nice words like honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and healing to the bones. And that is Proverbs 16, 24. So, that is the truth, friends. You better believe it. We are going to be coming back again on October 1st for our fall special. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. We'll see you later.